Being healthy. While in Australia, it is important you stay healthy as your work will be physically demanding, sometimes in very hot and cold weather. Healthy eating will help give you energy when doing hard physical work. Eating well keeps you strong and healthy. We recommend you eat plenty of vegetables and fruits and plenty of grain foods like rice, bread, pasta, and breakfast cereals like oats, porridge, and muesli. Eat some lean meats like kangaroo, beef, pork, and chicken. Also, you should eat fish, eggs, tofu, nuts, and seeds, and small amounts of milk, yogurt, and cheese. We recommend you avoid takeaway foods, chocolates, soft drinks, and lollies, as these have lots of fats and sugars, which are not good for your heart, weight, or teeth, and are expensive to buy. You should drink plenty of water. Many people do not drink enough water, which causes tiredness, low energy, and headaches. In hot weather, you will need to drink more water, especially when you are working outside. Food handling. Each year, there are millions of cases of food poisoning in Australia. Of those, around a third are thought to be caused by food handling mistakes when people are preparing their food. The four main rules to food handling safety are clean, separate, cook, and chill. Clean. Wash your hands and surfaces often. Wash your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds before and after handling food and after using the bathroom. Separate. Separate raw meats from other foods. Separate raw meat, poultry, seafood and eggs from other foods in your grocery shopping cart, grocery bags and refrigerator. Use one cutting board for fresh produce and a separate one for raw meat, poultry and seafood. Never place cooked food on a plate that previously held raw meat, poultry, seafood, or eggs, unless the plate has been washed in hot, soapy water. Cook. Cook to the right temperature. Make sure that meat is cooked properly to ensure that you destroy all bad bacteria. Cook eggs until the yolk and white are firm. Only use recipes in which eggs are cooked or heated thoroughly. When cooking in a microwave oven, cover food, stir, and rotate for even cooking. If there is no turntable, rotate the dish by hand once or twice during cooking. Always allow standing time, which completes the cooking, and do not put anything metal in the microwave. Bring sauces, soups, and gravy to a boil when reheating. If you are sick, don't cook for others, as you could make them sick too. Ask someone else to cook for you when you are sick. Chill. Keep fresh food between zero to four degrees Celsius. Freezer temperature should be close to negative 18 degrees Celsius. The chiller compartment in a fridge should be close to zero degrees Celsius. Refrigerate or freeze meat, poultry, eggs, seafood, and other perishables within two hours of cooking or buying. Refrigerate within one hour if the temperature outside is above 30 degrees Celsius. Never thaw frozen food by sitting it on the countertop. There are three safe ways to defrost food, in the refrigerator, in cold water, and in the microwave. Food thawed in cold water or in the microwave should be cooked immediately. Divide large amounts of leftovers into shallow containers for quicker cooling in the refrigerator. Good personal hygiene. You may be working in hot, dirty working conditions, and to stay healthy, you may find you need to wash more than when you are at home. Your accommodation will include access to showers and washing facilities, and you should shower every day. Other things you may want to do to stay healthy are cleaning your teeth at least twice a day. Brushing the teeth after each meal is the best way of making sure that gum disease and tooth decay are avoided. It is very important to clean teeth after breakfast and immediately before going to bed. Washing your hair with soap or shampoo at least once a week. Washing your hands with soap after going to the toilet. Washing hands with soap before preparing and or eating food. During normal daily working and sporting activities, disease causing germs may get onto your hands and under the nails. If the germs are not washed off, they can make you sick. Changing into clean clothes daily. Dirty clothes should be washed with laundry soap before wearing them again. 
Hang clothes in the sun to dry where possible. The sun's rays will kill some disease-causing germs and parasites. Don't wear damp clothes. Turn away from other people and cover your nose and mouth with a tissue or your hand when coughing or sneezing, or sneeze into your elbow. If this is not done, droplets of liquid containing germs from your nose and mouth will spread in the air and other people can breathe them in, or the droplets can get onto food. You should wash your hands after sneezing into your hand. Some workers find that when they come to Australia, they get boils. A boil is a skin infection that starts in a hair follicle or oil gland. At first, the skin turns red in the area of the infection and a tender lump develops. After four to seven days, the lump starts turning white as pus collects under the skin. Speak to your team leader, welfare person or approved employer if you think you may have a boil. Don't wait until it is too late. The most common places for boils to appear are on the face, neck, armpits, shoulders, and buttocks. To avoid getting boils, you should wash regularly, eat well, treat broken skin. It is important that if you do have a boil that causes you pain or does not heal, you should go to the doctor and have it checked as soon as possible. Your approved employer will arrange for you to see a doctor. You will notice on your payslip that there is a deduction for health insurance. This is money that you pay to help reduce the cost of medical treatment and going to the doctor or hospital. It does not pay for medicine you get from the chemist. However, it may help to pay for doctor's bills or treatments that you may need to receive in a hospital if you get sick. You may have to pay the bill at the time you see the doctor and claim some money back later. Your approved employer will be able to help you with this. If you are sick, let your team leader know and make an appointment with the doctor. Your team leader should tell your approved employer that you are sick. Get medical treatment early so that you don't get sicker and you don't have to take a lot of time off work. It is important for you to stay healthy so that you can continue to work and earn money in Australia to take back with you to your home country. Keeping in touch with family and friends. It is important to keep in touch with friends and family back home and there are a number of ways you can do this. The easiest way to talk with friends and family at home is by using the internet. Many phones have internet access to check things like email. You can also download instant messaging apps on your phone which give you free calls and text messages to anywhere in the world. In Australia, a lot of people use Facebook to keep in touch with one another. There may be internet services in some towns in Australia. You can use the internet at public libraries for free or at an internet cafe in some regional centres for a cost. You will usually be charged per hour or per half an hour. Using a mobile phone to call home can be very expensive. You need to be very careful that you don't spend all your money on phone calls. If you did not bring a phone from home, a new one may be expensive. Buying a prepaid mobile phone is the easiest option. Prepaid mobile phone deals offer an easy way to manage your spending. When buying a phone plan or SIM card, Check with the retailer or shop to make sure your phone will work in the area you will be living. Some telephone companies do not work in remote areas and have limited overseas cover. Check the pricing. Moving to a new country can be difficult and being aware of your mental health is important. Don't be afraid to speak to your team leader, welfare person or approved employer. If you feel sad or anxious and it is causing you to feel distressed, seek support from a friend or you can call a free counsellor at Beyond Blue on 1300 224636 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.